All right, in this video, we're going to be learning how to derive these kinematic equations when we have constant acceleration. Uh, in the last video, we derived actually this blue equation and this green equation. So if you'd like to see how to get to this step, we started with just acceleration of a function of time, and we derived uh, these formulas for or these equations for uh, an expression for velocity and an expression for position. So yeah, just go back and watch that video if you uh, if you would like, but just save time. You know, we're not going to go through that again. We're just going to start here. So in order to derive the first kinematic equation I've written down here, we'll use the blue equation, and we can write v is equal to v naught plus an integral sign, and we'll choose t naught to be zero just to make our lives easier. <clears throat> All right, and we said acceleration is constant, so we can move acceleration right outside of the integral, and then we're just left with dt. Now we know that the the integral of dt is just t, right? So we get v is equal to v naught plus a t uh, from 0 to t. And when we substitute this in, this is the same thing as saying v is equal to v naught plus a uh, times t minus 0, right? The upper limit minus the lower limit. And then we see this as we have v is equal to v naught plus a t. Right? We can even write it one more time just to be super clear. v is equal to v naught plus a t. And there we have it. That's the first kinematic equation that I've written here. So that's cool, let's move on to the second. Uh, let's switch into a green color because we're going to be using this equation now. And uh, we can say, well, let's write it right beside it. So we'll start with this again. We have um, S is equal to S naught plus, now again, we're going to set time, our lower limit of T naught to be zero just to make our lives easier to T. And then when we have V, well, we have V right here, right? And so it's constant, so we'll just add that in. So V naught plus A T D T. All right, so now what we want to do is we just want to integrate this. So we have S is equal to S naught plus, well, this will become V naught T. This is with respect to T, right? And this will become plus one half a t squared. All right, this is just simple integration. And this is actually all from 0 to t. But you'll see when we plug in this 0, so we'll have, we'll plug in t and then minus this whole expression again with 0, and uh, that'll just go away. So then what we can do, we can see that this is just s, well, here I'll write it again, again, just to be super clear, uh, s naught plus v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. So there we go. Now we have kinematic equation number two solved. Okay, so now how to get this third one? This one is a little bit trickier, but uh, maybe let's switch to a different color. No, no, we'll write this one in black, I guess. So the way that we go about doing this is, I'll just tell you because it's not super intuitive right away, um, but we have a is equal to the rate of change of velocity, right? So we have a is equal to dv over dt. Now, this is another way we can write this is equal to, this is how I do it. I think other people may do it differently, right? And I'm just gonna multiply this by, if we multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing, it's like multiplying it by one, so it's not actually changing, right? So we'll just multiply times ds over ds, right? So we've basically multiplied this by one and nothing has changed. But we can rearrange this so we get, because uh, this is all multiplication, right? So we can have ds, uh, sorry, dv over ds, uh, times, right, the little time sign in there, uh, times ds over dt, okay? So we're just playing with variables here. But something interesting about this is ds at dt, the rate of change of uh, position is actually velocity. So what we can write this now is we can, sorry, we're just going to continue down to here. Uh, so this is also the same thing as dv ds times v, right? This ds, here, I'll even change it in a different color. ds dt equals v. All right, that should be clear. <laughs> uh, so now what we have is we're saying, and then we're still saying this is all equal to a, right? So this is all equal to a. So what we want to do now is, again, we'll do a little trick with a separation of variables. And so we have uh, v dv, ooh, that's two d's, v dv, right, that's this part is equal to a ds. So all I did is I just basically multiplied both sides by a ds, or just brought this up to this side. So we have v dv is equal to a ds. 
All right, so now what we want to do is we want to integrate this. Maybe we'll come down here. Um, we'll head over here just so you know, we have a little bit more space. Um, so when we integrate, we have v dv is equal to a ds. Um, so we, oh yeah, I suppose a ds. But we know the a is a constant, right? That's just part of the kinematic problems. So we can actually move this a outside of our integral sign. Okay. Uh, now, what also do we need? We need the, the limits because we're taking definite integrals. So this will be v naught to v, and this will be s naught to some s. Cool. So let's uh, let's continue on with this, and we're gonna get uh, well the integral of v dv is just gonna be v squared over two, or one half v squared, right? So we can write one half v squared um, from v naught to v is equal to a times, well the integral of ds is just s, so a times s from uh, s naught to s, right? Okay, so this is still making sense. Now what we want to do is we want to substitute these in or just fill it, finish it off. So we get, we'll do it below so it's easier to see, one half, all right, so we get v squared minus v naught squared is equal to a times s minus s naught. All right, so we're getting close. All we have to do is multiply both sides by two. v squared minus v naught squared is equal to two a mm, s minus s naught. And the last step for the last uh, kinematic equation we have here is v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2a times s minus s naught. And there you go. That's how you derive these kinematic equations.